Howdy again everyone. A little bit later this year, when the coronavirus situation has calmed down, I'll be putting together a new video about the sharpest camera lenses I've ever tested. But in order to do that, I'm getting together a bit more information about some of the top contenders. A number of extremely sharp lenses were tested by me when I only had a Canon 6D camera with its full frame 20 megapixel sensor, and nowadays that's actually quite low resolution. So I'm starting off by testing a couple of Sigma's portrait lenses on my Sony a7R 2 and I thought you might like to see a short video about how the Sony version of their 85mm f1.4 art lens, which is actually designed for digital SLR cameras, performs. I'd like to thank Sigma for loaning me this lens for a few days for testing, although as usual this is a totally independent review. Let's take a look. Now, if you thought the original version for digital SLRs was big, then you'll find this one almost comically huge. The lens is an absolute monster. Its considerable size has been added onto by what is essentially a built-in rear adapter to make up for the mirrorless camera's shorter flange distance. So there's a gap between the mount and the rear glass element here, but that gap has been nicely flocked on the inside, a thoughtful touch to prevent any extra reflections from sneaking in. The lens still has a weather sealing gasket around the edge of the lens mount, and it's still fully electronic, this time optimised for the Sony E-mount. The lens still uses the same ultrasonic autofocus motor as before, and the large focus ring is still mechanically coupled to the focus system and still turning lovely and smoothly, a bit of a novelty on a mirrorless camera lens. In use, the autofocus system was fast enough, but not as snappy as with other lenses designed for mirrorless cameras, it has to do a very brief micro-adjustment before really landing focus but you must take into account the hefty glass elements it's moving around, and that mirrorless cameras tend to be happier to work with efficient stepping motor lenses, rather than the more common ultrasonic ones that you tend to see on digital SLR lenses, although this performance is still perfectly fine really. As the motor turns, it emits a quiet whooshing sound. The all-important eye autofocus feature of my camera worked properly with this lens, and the in-body image stabilisation on my a7R2 also worked perfectly nicely. Overall, in terms of build quality, the lens works really well and handles great, despite its behemoth size. So, let's take a look at image quality. Optically, this lens is the same as the original digital SLR versions, so if you want to see a full review of its optics, head over to the full review on my channel. But as I mentioned, the unknown quantity for me is its sharpness on a high resolution full frame camera sensor. So I've mounted it onto my Sony a7R 2 here with its full frame 42 megapixel sensor. In camera corrections are turned on. Straight from f1.4, sharpness in the middle of the image is extremely high, although a little edge of purple fringing is visible here on highly contrasting edges. And over in the corners, resolution and contrast continue to be absolutely brilliant. Remember, we're working at f1.4 here on a 42 megapixel camera. Stop down to f2 and we see just the tiniest little increase in brightness, contrast and resolution. The middle of the image still looks incredible too, although the very eagle-eyed among you might spot just the tiniest little bit of lingering purple fringing. However, stop down to f2.8 and that is completely gone and the image corners have also seen just a touch of extra resolution and contrast, lifting them to the sharpest I've pretty much ever seen on this camera sensor. The lens stays this sharp as you stop down the aperture further, and it's only at f16 that the first signs of softness from diffraction begin to creep in. Well, I knew already that this lens was sharp, but that still didn't stop me being blown away by its performance here. Is it the sharpest I've ever tested? I don't know yet, it's certainly up there. You'll just have to wait a few more months for the final comparison video to come out, but until then, peace out, stay safe, and God bless.